Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of What's the Point? I am your host, Andy Luton from Andy's Travel Blog, wearing my uh, new Bluffworks blazer. We'll get to that in a little bit. It's been a little bit since we've uh, last spoken and there's just a little bit of news we need to cover today. The main thing is gonna be about the Starwood Marriott merger. Whether you call it Starriott or Marrowood or neither of those, it's, it's still important to travelers. Marriott is the biggest hotel brand in the world. Starwood is one of the smaller guys. You usually think of the, the big ones as uh, Marriott and Hilton and then Hyatt and Starwood were the smaller brands. Well, Marriott listened to their customers and very similar to like American Airlines and US Airways, um, Marriott said, hey, we're thinking about buying Starwood and customers on both sides pretty much universally stood up and said, we would not like that. And so Marriott said, okay, in the name of corporate profits, we hear you, we understand you, and we're going to do it anyway. So after a last minute bid by a Chinese insurance firm and some last minute Chinese accounting uh, research that needed to be done or some assurances more than likely, uh, the Starwood and Marriott merger has closed. It is live. Uh, there's a couple ramifications for everyday travelers. So if you have status in either Marriott or Starwood, this next part is very important to you, okay? You need to go to either Marriott or Starwood's website, and I'll, I'll send you the, or the, the link will be below. You need to go to the site and link your account. So if you link your, your Starwood account with your Marriott account, your status will be matched instantly. So this is actually good for the Starwood folks, and I guess for the Marriott folks as well. So as soon as you link your accounts, your status is active. So that's very important and everyone watching this needs to go do that if indeed you have status with one and not with the other or if you have status that's maybe a little higher with Starwood than it is with Marriott. Uh, you'll be equalized out and it'll be a better traveling situation for you. Now I think with everyone having these you're, you're going to tend to have higher status because at the very least you'll have the status you currently had. And so everybody around the country and around the world is signing up for whichever program they have the highest status for. So it's going to be a little harder to get upgrades at first uh, until they come out and revamp those, uh, I'm sure in a very customer friendly way as well. Sorry for all the snark, I don't know what that's about. Actually, I'll probably get to that here in a little bit. Um, so up next, there's, there's also a points transfer program going on. Now, uh, for those of you who are familiar with Marriott points, they tend to award quite a few points. And, and likewise, the, the nights required for a redemption for an award stay are also very high. And so a lot of people were wondering, are they really gonna match like one Starwood point is equal to one Marriott point? Because it doesn't make any sense. Marriott points are simply not worth as much as Starwood points. Now, Starwood points are what I consider to be probably the most valuable uh, point in the miles and points universe, uh, followed by Chase Ultimate Reward points. And the reason I think that is that Starwood uh, points are very flexible. You can transfer them to a variety of airlines, including American Airlines, uh, for whatever reason you'd want to do that anymore. Uh, but anyways, um, this is actually something they did very well. I do give credit when people do it right. Uh, so you can transfer points from uh, Starwood to Marriott, and for every one star point you transfer, you get three Marriott points. So it's a three to one ratio or a one to three ratio, depending on which one you start with. So basically for every Starwood point you have, you can get three Marriott points. Uh, and that, those transfers people are reporting are happening instantly. And there's really not a limit to how many times you can transfer points between the two programs. So uh, I'm encouraging people, if you have points in one of the programs right now, and you don't really have an urgent need to redeem those points, go ahead and leave them in the program they're in right now. And whenever you would like to, you can transfer the points when you need them. Uh, and this is pending some sort of uh, IT exercise to get everything merged into one group of points, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Now, what some people, the points guy was one of them I saw it on, and there's really, if you go to boardingarea.com and search for Marriott Starwood, you'll see quite a few posts on this. Uh, what a lot of people are finding is that uh, Marriott's uh, program where you can redeem a certain amount of Marriott points and not only get uh, hotel stays, but also uh, flights covered as well, uh, are turning out to be a pretty valuable use of these uh, Starwood points that people have accumulated. Uh, and likewise, even as some people are talking about uh, transferring Marriott points into Starwood so you can convert those Starwood points into Southwest Airlines points to get a companion pass with Southwest. 
Now, the Southwest Companion Pass is bar none the best benefit in the frequent flyer world. Uh, so if you are interested in that, the points guy did a really you know, step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. Now, that does come with a caveat. Uh, your mileage may vary on this. Uh, there's been a lot of people who have indicated that you're not supposed to be able to do that, but apparently it's getting through for some people. Um, and even if it did work, the companion pass always lasts the rest of the year that you qualify in plus the next calendar year. So if you wanted to do this uh, Marriott points into Starwood points, convert to Southwest Airlines points to get the companion pass, you'd want to wait until January 1st, 2018 to do so, simply because uh, the companion pass would be uh, it would, it would be valid for the rest of 2017 and the entirety of 2018 as well. So stay tuned on that, and I'll link to the Points Guys post that talks about that, as well as the caveats he lists out as well. So uh, to summarize, it, it, the Starwood and Marriott merger, even though it's something that many frequent travelers didn't really want, it seems like they are doing a pretty good job of rolling it out so far. Um, so with that said, and I'll link to all the sites you need. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about the Bluffworks Blazer. Now, for those of you who don't follow my blog, uh, my blog's at andystravelblog.com, and I actually put this thing through a pretty rigorous test. You know, they, they, sent, they sent me one before you know, the Kickstarter launched, and they said, hey, can you do a review uh, during the Kickstarter week? And I said, Ab or the Kickstarter project. I said, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, you know, Stefan over at Bluffworks, he knows my reputation for trying to put things not just through tests, but they gotta be like epic tests. Uh, you remember the one that I did uh, where I tested the Bluffworks pants uh, in Hong Kong and Beijing um, back in I think March or April of this year. And I think he was looking for something pretty epic. So uh, for those of you who didn't see the, cl or to see the video, let, let me just show you a real quick clip. Okay, so as you can see, the Bluffworks blazer held up pretty nice. I've since thrown this blazer in the washing machine, threw it in the dryer, and uh, here it is. Turns, uh, turns out it's pretty nice, and uh, again, all their, all their claims, at least in my opinion, are true. So uh, anyways, I'm giving away uh, a Bluffworks blazer on andystravelblog.com. You have until uh, Thursday, the 29th of September, 11.59 Eastern Daylight Time to sign up. Uh, for the giveaway, and, and all you need to do is go to andystravelblog.com, I'll, I'll put the link below, uh, and you can sign up to win a Bluffworks blazer of your very own. Uh, but until then, support the Kickstarter project. The Bluffworks folks are wonderful people, and they make a really good quality product that I'm, I'm very proud to throw my weight behind. Um, it's not a weightlifting joke, although I'm, I'm not sad that it turned out to be a weightlifting pun. So um, uh, anyways, that takes care of Bluffworks. Now, before we wrap up for today, I just wanted to talk about something that I've noticed kind of in the world. So uh, in the United States, the presidential debates are heating up and uh, everybody seems to be just really on edge and with, with tensions of all sorts of racial tensions and everything else, uh, you, you add on something as stressful as travel and you look at, at, at travel companies reducing benefits that people used to count on, it's a pretty stressful time in the world. So. I just wanna encourage everybody just to relax a little bit, to take a step back and relax. Uh, I know when something doesn't go well, we wanna complain about it, we wanna be made right, but it almost seems like everyone is in a rush uh, to be offended more than the person next to them or the person who brings something to their attention. They wanna respond and say, oh, I'm, I'm even more angry than you are. So I just wanna invite everyone just to relax a little bit, take a step back, if, you know, for me, I've complained a lot about American Airlines changes, and um, it just so happens that I haven't really flown as much in the past couple of months, uh, and you know what, it's been kind of nice. If, if getting onto an American jet has been something that would stress me out because I remember how things used to be and all the changes that they made, then, well, I need to get away from American Airlines for a little bit or get away from flying for a little bit. So I would just encourage everybody to take a step back, 
remind yourself of the thing that brings you joy uh, and, and go do that thing for a little bit. And well, if that thing happens to be traveling on one of these airlines that you're currently upset at, maybe it's time to try a new airline or maybe it's time to do a road trip instead of, uh, instead of flying somewhere. So just reinvigorate yourself and don't give in to the temptation of just getting more angry than everybody else because really at the end, that's, that's not really a trophy you want to wave because by definition, you're probably waving it at somebody and trying to hit them with it because you're so angry. So uh, let's everybody relax and let's, let's just, let's try to be better people, not just better travelers, uh, but better people uh, and, and, and see what this whole attitude of, of gratitude thing can do and figure out what you're thankful for, pursue that thing, figure out what brings you joy, pursue that thing. Uh, and yeah, I think we're all gonna be better as part of it. So I'll, I'll stop with the, uh, with the whole life advice thing, the whole Tony Robbins thing, uh, but it is important to me. I think we all need to do a better job of taking care of each other. Uh, so that's gonna wrap it up for What's the Points uh, today. I hope everybody is doing very well. Take care out there, travel safe.